Alco. That is the top nifty loser. Stock is down 8.5% after Novellus brought down their guidance sounded muted. Nigel is here with the details. Well, that's right. Hindalco is, uh, is under pressure because of Novelis' numbers. And Novelis' numbers clearly were very, very disappointing. So if you look at the sales number, well, that was up by close to around 5% odd. But the EBITDA number, adjusted EBITDA, was down by close to around 5%. Keep in mind, this adjusted EBITDA includes a, a $25 million impact because of the flooding in the Switzerland plant. The problem was on the EBITDA per ton. And the adjusted EBITDA per ton is at around $489 per ton. But X of this flooding impact in Switzerland, well, that number actually is $502 per ton, which is still lower than what the street was working with. Now, the problem is the commentary on scrap. Hindalco, remember, they use a lot of their raw material, which is aluminium scrap, in, uh, you know, uh, in, in the Nobelist business. And they're saying that China started buying a high amount of scrap, which is pushing the scrap prices higher. Because scrap prices are moving higher, it's putting pressure on their spreads. And because of that, now they've withdrawn that guidance that they'd given earlier on the EBITDA per ton. Earlier, they were guiding for EBITDA per ton of around $525 per ton. Now, in the near term, they're not giving any clarity on that front, which is the problem. And that's the factor that has spooked the street. In addition to that, the debt number as well has moved up marginally because of the higher capex as well as working capital. So the numbers were disappointing in the past quarter, but the street is spooked because they've withdrawn this EBITDA per ton guidance of $525 per ton. Back to you. Okay, all right. Uh, thank you so much, Nigel, for getting us all those details. That's a big cut on a nifty stock. We'll slip into a short break now. When we come back, we'll get you more on the markets and stock-specific action on the other side. Stay tuned.